Hey, welcome back to Grandma's Corner 2020, where I have been enjoying finding all kinds of great books to read to you, and I hope you're enjoying them too. It's really nice to have books read, especially really fun books like this one, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This one goes really well with my video that I did on the life cycle of a butterfly, specifically a monarch butterfly. And I did mention this at the end of my video. So if you have never read this book, this is a great one either to listen to grandma right now or to maybe borrow from your library. All right, let's get going. Thank you, Eric Carlisle. Or Carl, maybe it's Eric Carl. Sorry about that, Eric. All right, here we go, folks. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. That's the egg right there. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry, you got it, caterpillar. You can see it right there. Okay, this is going to be one of these fun books I got to hold the right way here. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh my gosh, look at all this food. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Well, I would too. Who eats that much? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Oh my goodness gracious. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... Do you have a guess? Oh, he was a beautiful butterfly. So pretty. And that's the end, folks. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. So that's one of my favorite books also. I guess I have a lot of favorite books because I keep saying that, don't I? I just remember reading them to my students and to my kids and these books bring me very fond memories. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come back. I have lots more to choose from. So get excited and be sure to, to, to subscribe, tell your friends, tell your families, announce to the world, Go to Grandma's Corner 2020 and support my cause. All right, you have a good day. Good night, my friends. Bye-bye.